Choo Choo by Virginia Lee Burton. Once upon a time, there was a little engine. Her name was Choo Choo. She was a beautiful little engine, all black and shiny. Choo Choo had a whistle which went woo when she came to the crossing. Choo Choo had a bell which went ding dong, ding dong when she came to the station. And a brake which went swish and made, just made an awful noise. Choo Choo had an engineer. His name was Jim. Jim loved the little engine and took good care of her. He would shine and polish her until she looked like new and oil all the parts so they would run smoothly. Choo Choo had a fireman. His name was Oli. Oli fed the little engine with coal and water. The tender carried the coal and water. Archibald was the conductor who rode in the coaches. He took the tickets from the passengers. Archibald had a big watch. He told the little engine when it was time to start. Choo Choo pulled all the coaches full of people, the baggage car full of mail, and baggage in the tender from the little station to the little town to the big station in the big city and back again. Choo Choo went through the fields and across the highway where the gates were down. Choo Choo stopped at little stations on the way to pick up passengers and baggage and mail to take to the big city. Ding dong, ding dong, and she's off again through the tunnel and over the hills. Down the hills, across the drawbridge, and into the big station in the big city. One day, Choo Choo said to herself, I am tired of pulling all these heavy coaches. I could go much faster and easier by myself, and then all the people would stop and look at me, just me. And they would say, what a smart little engine, what a fast little engine, what a beautiful little engine, just watch her go by herself. The next day, Choo Choo was left alone on the tracks while Jim and Oli and Archibald were having a cup of coffee in the restaurant. Now is my chance, said Choo Choo, and off she started. Choo 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 Ding Dong Ding Dong Whoo Hoo! Stop, everyone! Look, everyone! Stop! Look and listen to me! Choo Choo raced through the fields, and she frightened all the cows and horses and chickens. Choo Choo frightened all the people, and some clambered up the steeple. Choo 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 whizzed by the crossings. All the automobiles and trucks had to put on their brakes so quickly that they piled one on top of another. My, they were mad at Choo Choo. Over the hills went the little engine. Faster and faster. She couldn't stop. Now if she wanted to. The drawbridge was up. Choo Choo jumped and just made it. But she lost the tender. Fortunately, it fell on a coal barge, which was passing under the drawbridge. Choo Choo raced on into the big yard in the big city. Swish, swish went the air brakes on the express trains. Poor Choo Choo didn't know which way to turn. Ah, there was a track out, a freight track that ran around the city. Choo Choo took it and escaped. On and on went Choo Choo, out of the city, through the suburbs, into the country. It was getting dark. She's lost her way. She did not have much coal or water left as she had lost her tender. Finally, she came to where the tracks divided. One truck went one way and the other track went the other way. She did not know which track to take, so she took the track that went the other way. It was an old, old track that hadn't been used for years. Bushes and weeds had grown between the ties. The trees had spread their branches over it. It was uphill and almost dark now. And this is how the poor, tired little engine went. Choo, 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 And there she sat. In the meantime, 
When Jim and Ole and Archibald heard the little engine go by, they jumped up and ran after her. Jim called, Stop! Stop! But Choo Choo was too far away to hear, even if she wanted to. Jim and Ole and Archibald ran and ran until they could run no more. Just then a streamliner train came round the corner behind them. Jim took off his red handkerchief and flagged it. The streamliner stopped. Jim called the streamliner engine, Help me catch my runaway engine. What about my schedule, said the streamliner engineer. Never mind your schedule, said Jim. I must find Choo Choo. So he climbed in and Ole and Archibald followed. Jim took the controls and zoom, they were off. It was easy to see which way Choo Choo had gone. All the cows, horses, and chickens pointed with their tails or heads. The people at the crossings cried out, She went that way, that way, bring her back. And the people in the town said, Hurry, 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 and catch the little engine, the naughty runaway engine, before she does any more harm. While waiting for the drawbridge to close, Ollie cried out, Look, there's the tender on that coal barge. Jim said, Ollie and Archibald, you stay here and get the tender up. I'll go until I find Choo Choo. Archibald telephoned for the train derrick. After it came, it didn't take long to get the tender back on the tracks. They all went on to the yard by the big station to wait for Jim to come back with Choo Choo. At last they came to the place where the tracks divided. They didn't know which way to go now. Well, they were deciding... An old man who used to be an engineer when he was young called out to them, If you're looking for a runaway engine, she's right up that track there, and she won't be far as it's an old track which hasn't been used in well nigh 40 years. They turned on the big headlight and went slowly up the old track. They didn't go far before they saw the little engine. Choo Choo was so glad to be found that she blew one toot with her whistle. There was just enough steam left for one small toot. Jim took a big chain and ran to the little engine and hooked it on. The streamliner backed down the old track, pulling Choo Choo back to the main track, back through the big city and back into the train yard where Ole and Archibald were waiting. They attached the tender and ran Choo Choo into the roundhouse and looked her over to see if any damage had been done. Except for being dusty and tired, she was as good as ever. Jim and Ole and Archibald were so glad to have Choo Choo back, they danced a jig together. On the way home, Choo Choo said to Jim, I am not going to run away anymore. It isn't much fun. I'm going to pull all the coaches full of people in the baggage car from the little town to the big city and back again. <laughs>